Hey guys, Jim S. Escape Long Care. Great to see you back into the channel. Let's do a little bit uh, of some different things here as to the typical mowing. Just want to explain a few things of what I have done in, in my business. Now, it's hard for some people to understand what, and then of course the math you have to do into it, but most of you guys charge per cut. I don't do that. The uh, reason is because I truly am year-round. So when I say I don't charge per cut, I do formulate a price as a per cut basis, annualized, if you will, and then spread the payments out on the monthly. So I will obviously cut in the summertime every single week because we have to. The grass just goes so fast and it can get up there so thick and so long. Um, so generally that's about five months of the year. Then we start to go into a pattern where it's not every seven days it needs to be cut. It can go eight days, nine days, 10 days, et cetera. It spreads out a little bit to eventually where I get uh, to bi-weekly. And there are some yards that truly, if it wasn't for the weeds, doesn't need to be cut uh, for about three weeks. I always make that judgment call when I get to the property. Can it last? Because if I'm on a bi-weekly schedule, will it last for two more weeks? Basically, a month. No matter what, uh, it's still the, the customers are being charged on a monthly basis, not on a per-cut basis. So if they don't see me for two weeks, three weeks, even four weeks, it doesn't matter because, again, the, the amount is annualized over a period of year. And they understand that. It's a contractual basis. So it's not one of those things where my line guy didn't show up for a month. There are times I'm not going to show up for a month. So understand in the summertime is not taking advantage or disadvantage. Some people pay me a year in advance or six months or quarterly. So all of this is all taken care of. So when I say that I am collecting money all year long, I am. I'm collecting the same amount. So if I say, hey, I'm going to collect $150 per month on this 20-minute yard, that could be every single week. It's still the same amount, 150, 170, 200, whatever the charges are. Obviously, the, the more time it takes, the more money it's going to be. Now, initially, the customers don't quite understand. So when I calculate it, so I calculate, for example, uh, and like I said before, most yards need to be done at least bi-weekly. And, of course, in the summertime, it has to be done weekly. So that's what we do in Florida. Is And there are still some guys that just do a cut per basis. The problem with the cut per basis is, is that customers aren't really loyal to you. You probably don't have a contract. It's just that you also show up when you want to, whether it's a Tuesday, a Thursday, a Friday. There's really no scheduled cut. Because most of the line guys, when they do a cut basis, they're going to squeeze in whatever they can. It may be the neighbor. It may be across the street. If it rain delays, etc. So they're not really on a schedule. They try to be, and especially some good long guys. They will uh, try to say, okay, I'm going to cut you every single Monday, weather forbidding. Obviously, we don't know that. Um, but for for most of it is, is that, these guys are going to go hungry come the winter time. And then the customers are trying to find them like, hey, are you not going to cut my grass? It's been a month and the weeds are growing and, and you know, the grass still grows. Uh, but it's just not as tall as quick, certainly not as thick in the winter time. So do we get some winter here? Sure, our glass, grass is going to slow down. I am actually in the further, if you look at it, I'm towards the beach area. Uh, 30 minutes from Tampa. So I do get a lot of warm weather, uh, even though during the winter. So it's not really freezing here. I think occasionally we can get a freeze, but it's I'm below the freeze line. So our grass doesn't really freeze. It still continues to grow. 
it does slow down. So it's just when we annualize something and put them on a contract, again, it's not a per cut basis. They're not paying more in the summertime or less in the wintertime. They're paying a per monthly fee, 12 installments, if you will. Now, that doesn't, or it may include uh, additional items like shrubbery, you know, so uh, that would include like probably four times a, a year on shrubbery. If they want it more, you know, they have to pay for it a la carte, okay? Uh, of, course, of course, you know, tree branches that are fall down because of a storm, we'll certainly clean that up, uh, you know, and your normal stuff that's on the ground and that just falls from the trees and the leaves. So we don't really do a leaf cleanup, at least I don't. I have mulching blades on my mower. So what that means is that because I cut it so often, I'm just constantly mulching. So just understand when, when I say I am busy all year, I am. However, when I take advantage where I am mowing a lot during the summertime, you know, every single week where you guys in the wintertime are taking what, a couple of months off, you got to find another job or doing the snow removals, whatever you guys do, or you take the couple of months off, you know, three to four months, right? So we all know in the spring in March is when you guys start to cut because it's been what, since December, late November, uh, that the grass hasn't been cut. It's been dormant in your area and it really hasn't grown. Well, come March, um, it, it, it is obviously it's high enough to, to be cut. But again, you're still now bi-weekly anyway. So uh, I'm bi-weekly until um, at the end of April. So November through April, that's a long stretch of bi-weekly yards, right? Now, like I said, there are times where I'm mowing maybe third week or even the fourth week. Depends on the yard. A lot of crabgrass, it's not going to grow, right? So it still needs to be cut once a month for sure. Uh, so I sometimes can skip one person. But my time off is every other week. I get the entire week off, right? Because if I'm cutting bi-weekly, I don't schedule anything in between, right? So I have done that for a long time. Now I have scaled back to almost nothing now. Uh, I'm not doing a whole bunch of yards and, and, you know, basically I'm just, you know, cutting very little. I'm going to retire here soon and uh, I'll still maintain the channel. I still have a lot of videos I haven't even uploaded yet that I still need to edit because when you're filming all the time and I do and there are different angles and so on and so forth. So it's going to keep me busy for, for a while. Um, and then there'll be a time where I may switch the channel to maybe a little bit of something else or a blend in between and do a little bit more talking rather than mowing. Right? So this has already been eight minutes or so. I didn't want, I always want to keep my, my stuff for 10 minutes because you guys attention span is three minutes. So I get it. But anyway, that's how we do it in Florida. It's really most of ours, especially during the south of Florida, south of Tampa, south of Orlando, you know, Miami, Lauderdale, uh, St. Petersburg, Fort Myers, Naples, all of that. It is growing all the time still. So uh, we still have to maintain the yard. So whatever that is that uh, is in your contract. So I guess the real question is, do you guys have a contract? Or you just cut it per... Well, whenever they call you, you know, do you have scheduled services? Scheduled services are much easier. People understand it. They leave the gates open. They don't turn their sprinkler system on. They put the dogs away. They know I'm going to be there whatever select day. If not, then I text them because it's weather related that we have to deal with that. So anyway, that's just kind of how I have explained this before. I've never gone into details really about how we do it here in Florida, at least in the South Florida. I'm sure North Florida is a little bit different. They are above the freeze line, and yeah, they got a lot of grass that's going to go dormant uh, and go dormant for a long period of time. So, but you guys are taking a couple of months off. I take every other week off. So, how's that? So, I look forward to, I guess, really here next month in uh, November. At the end of November, I get to take a break, and it's it's really neat. It's been a long summer. It's been a hot summer. I thought last year was hot. Whew. This year was even hotter. Last year, we didn't get the rains. This year, we got a lot of rain. It had really messed everything up. But, hey, we went through it, and, uh, of course, now we're in 
hurricane season. Uh, hurricane, if you guys don't know, is really, really June 1st to the end of November. Uh, that's when we can expect to get hurricanes anytime in those months. So we haven't got much. This is towards the end of September. There's one hanging out there now. That's why I'm making this video. We got Hurricane Helene. Um, I'm speaking on a day that it's actually arriving. So in about two hours, it's going to get really nasty here. So I'm going to do it without not losing power. I try to upload this and put it, you know, put this out there as quick as I possibly can. I'll, of course, edit it. So anyway, just thought I'd uh, do something different here today. Peace. You guys be careful. God bless.